Hey guys, my name is Pierre from Can-Am, SpiderAccessories.com and welcome to the Spider Shop. In this video, we're going to be doing the installation of our beautiful, beautiful center front grill for the RT Series 220 and up. For this installation, you're going to need a couple of things. So you're going to need a screwdriver, a square head. It's usually uh, yellow, green and red. It's the green one that down you're going to need also some rubbing alcohol and a microfiber cloth or rag you're going to need a painter's tape one inch very important one inch in width and you're also going to need a drill with a 1 16th of an inch drill bit so I'm actually going to be uh, going backwards on this project. As you can see, the center front grill has been installed on this bike. This is our Canem Spider. It's a 220 Marcello Red. And so we did all the fitting and the design on this bike. So it's already been pre-drilled and we did a lot of stuff on it. But as you can see, this is a finished product. So I'm going to have to take that apart and then re-show you a little bit of the process of doing this installation. I can also take this time to answer the question I've been getting the most about this front grille is does it work if you have the BRP front light? Well, if you've got that already there, as you can see, we've got it behind this center grille, so it actually does fit even if you've got the light on. Along with the grill, you're going to get a little package like this in your box. You're going to have two blocks and four screws. And we're also including a little pad there of rubbing alcohol in case you don't have any at home. Preparation is really essential when you're doing any work like this where you're going to use some 3M double-sided tape. So I want you to go ahead and put some uh, rubbing alcohol on that rag. And this is a surface that we, we want to clean, especially here and here where our two blocks are going to go. So just go ahead and give that a wipe down. You want to take off anything that is there, uh, like wax and anything that's going to make sticking the 3M tape hard. So this is the part where you're going to be using the masking tape, which is one inch uh, in width. And you need about, I'd say about two to three inches in length. Here's what you're going to do. You see, if I'm, I try to put the camera so you can look downwards. And you can see here on the front end, you've got, this is textured here, this way. And here it is a shiny black, glossy black. And it leaves a line right here along the edge. And this is where you want to put down this masking tape right along that edge where the glossy meets the textured black. Go ahead and do that on both sides. Once you're done, it's gonna look a little something like this. Now this line that you created now is gonna become your guide to install the block. So you want the thick part on the outside, the thin part on the inside. And once it's done, you're gonna be you're going to line it up with a masking tape, just as such, and you're going to push it so this part here of the block hits this ledge here. So if this is against this and you're lined up straight with your masking tape, that's just the perfect spot for that block. Just go ahead and press down on it to make sure that it's secured. And go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Just make sure this time on, the, on this side you've also got the thick part towards the outside and the thin part on the inside. Once that's finished, it's going to look a little something like this. Once you've installed the two blocks, go ahead and remove the masking tape on each side. This is the part where you're going to need your drill with your 116 drill bit 
and the hole that's right there, all we want to do is go through that plastic. The plastic it's actually really thin, so try to really go in a downward motion. Be careful that your drill here doesn't spin against your plastic. Okay, so this is the way I hold it down and just Take one of the four screws, go ahead and secure the block. When you're putting in the screw, you just want to put it snug. Don't go too tight, just snug it. You're now ready to install your center front grill, so you want to just snug in one corner here and go ahead and put in the screw. You'll see that you've got your two holes here lined up exactly in the two holes of the grill. You want to use the one that's further to the edge, so the one on the end right here. Once again, you just want to make it snug. Same thing on the other side. That was pretty easy. Perfect result every time. And what? Took only a few minutes. You get an amazing look on your Can-Am Spider. Where can you find everything that you see in these videos? Well, you go on Can-Am SpiderAccessories.com. That's Can-Am SpiderAccessories.com. I try to be vigilant, and in the description, I'll put the link to where you can buy this beautiful center front grill for your RT Series to 20 and up. My name is Pierre. You're watching the Spider Shop, guys. Take care. Bye.